Today we are going to take a look at how we can refactor symbolic names easily. Let's get started. At first we need a test script. I have prepared the little script which is written in Python and the used Squish edition is compatible with Qt. So I'm using one of the Qt address book example applications. Let's run the script real quick. The script just enters a new user in the address book. I also have the scripted object map open to verify that my changes in the script also were applied to the object map itself. I have marked line 12 here because we are going to change this line. To do so, I also have to mark the symbolic name in the script, like this. Click on refactoring, rename, and now I can enter the new name that I would like to name it. So I'm just getting rid of the underscore line edit and click on OK. Now we can see that the symbolic name has changed. Also, here in the names py file or the object map. In addition to that, also the symbolic name is changed in the other script that I have here, which is the same script as I was running before, but as you can see here, it's are two different test cases. So now I can replay the script again, and this will still work. This is the way how you can change the symbolic names in case the name doesn't suit your needs by default or you would like to change the name globally for a lot of test cases afterwards. Thanks for watching. If you have further questions, get in touch with us by writing an email to squish at froglogic.com. You can check out Squish on your own by requesting a free trial. You might also be interested in our second product, Coco, which is a multi-language coach coverage tool. Don't forget to check out our YouTube channel for more videos. Bye bye!